uh, Swan or Swain uh, Laughlin. I think that's how you say that. You're live on the kill stream, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> it's Eight Farmer. How's it going? <laughs> How's it going, brother? Um, well, um, you know, it's a sad day, but uh, also a celebration of uh, of a great man. So. It is indeed sad. And let me just get out of the way immediately, the saccharine trite stuff. You know, if you haven't had anyone close to you that pass uh, or, you know, anyone that you've been distant to and maybe thought about reaching out to them, you know, life is fleeting. And immediately after you find out they passed, you just immediately think about all the things you should have said or could have done. You know, like my last conversation with Az was he'd accidentally uh, misconfigured his VPN and his call was dropping out. And I'm like, man, I'll hit you up tomorrow. I got to go to bed, you know? So anyway, thank you everyone for the support. Uh, it was, it was a shock, but you know, TKR will continue because, and I'm proud to announce this on your show of all, of all shows, the succession wars, Ace, Ted and I will fight to the death. King Lear, <laughs> Rand style. For the legacy of Asmodor, somewhere out there is his hard drive and a giant warehouse full of T-shirts and the stream keys. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And I know some people in chat were asking about that, you know, would the show continue? Uh, and you know what? Uh, I'll echo your sentiments and uh, try not to cry because it'll make me look like a little bitch. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I didn't get a chance to talk to, my, you know, my father um, for a bit. Uh before he died and, you know, complicated relationship with my father, et cetera. But, um, you know, you don't get that time back. Uh, and, um, you know, my mother, there was a different situation. You know, I was at least able to spend some time with her. She passed, but, um, you know, not at full capacity. Uh, and you think you have all the time in the world. And it doesn't have to be your parents, by the way. It can be a friend, like you said. Um, but life is fleeting and all this petty you know, I'm not, you guys didn't have any issues, but all this, you know, if it's somebody you care about, um, put, put the BS to the side, uh, put any, um, you know, animosity you have to the side because it really doesn't matter, uh, in the long run. And you only have one life to live and it is very short in the grand scheme of things. It really is. Yeah. Just be the bigger person. Um, yeah, I I know there were some questions about what his status was legally and and yeah, full disclosure. Right. I don't I don't know exactly what his his uh, legal status was. It's not the kind of thing you know. The guy was essentially on the lam. Yes, and you know I didn't con I didn't talk to him about his legal issues extensively, and and that's not something that he wanted to dwell on. But yeah, you want to talk about someone who lived on the lam? That guy, this day and age to be a complete and on you know this is a guy who'd put his his he had an old phone that you could take the battery out he'd put it in a faraday bag with the battery removed he'd go counties away just to call his mother you know this is the kind of sacrifice this guy lived and he still he still streamed and he still spoke what he saw as the truth you know he's that's the other thing i i've known asmador for um like six almost seven years and uh i i feel like you know one of my great regrets is that i never got to meet him in person you know he and i would joke about you know building a compound maybe out in the <laughs> pacific northwest because hell no i'm never going to fucking texas but uh you know we i'll i'll never get an opportunity to to meet him and and you know do all the things that friends should do and i it's it's just so um, uh, weird to have such a close relationship with someone that you've never actually met. And, you know, I've got a full life outside of these streams and he was just confined to that, that, that hovel, uh, that he was forced to live in because he was constrained by circumstances. And he was, I, I mentioned this in the, uh, the channel last night when I found out that he died, you know, he really did. He does love his audience, you know, TKR fam. He did not have a bad intention for anyone. There's people that he was fed up with. There's people that, you know, he just couldn't deal with because it was, you know, driving him crazy or he found obnoxious. But, you know, aside from the enemies of our people and all that, he did not have a bad intention, the bad bone in his body. And, um, you know, privately, there were people that he was not talking to or that he'd, he'd beefed with publicly. And he would just be like, man, I just wish... I wish this guy had done this or I can't do that because man, you know, he had lots of, 
lots of reasons, but you know, he had a complicated life, he had a full life. But um, it just saddens me that towards the end there, you know, it probably contributed to the to his demise is that he was not able to get adequate health care. Because uh, they would have arrested him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was going those precautions to just to call his mother. But you I mean, know, that's the, some the, like the, enemy the of the state just... type shit. I don't know if you ever seen that movie, but like, uh, you know, like putting your phone in a in a bag to keep from, keep it from being traced and using these old style shit. Like, I mean, that's some real enemy of the state type shit. Yeah, and that's how he was treated, which is fucked up. Yep. So, um, and yeah, you're right to point that out uh, because as soon as he would have went to, uh, you know, any type of hospital or doctor or anything, it would have not been too long uh, till he would have been in the joint. Um, and you know, that's fucked up. Uh, but yeah, I feel like that. De- I mean, there's no way it didn't contribute uh, to his demise. Um, but, um, you know, you're seeing an outpouring of support today because, uh, like I said earlier, you know, um, he wasn't the politician type, right? Uh, you know, sometimes I might play a bit of politics and try to bounce around and, you know, I don't necessarily co-sign this. And, you know, I'm political science degree guy, whatever. Um, that wasn't Asmador. Um, he, he called it how he saw it. Uh, and um, I, I think um, a lot of the love he derived uh, from his audience were, was because of that and because of all he faced uh, and kept going. It would have been easy to, or a lot easier, uh, to to stop doing what he was doing. Uh, but he, he felt so passionate about it that he never did. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it, it sounds like a, a cliche, but, you know, live free or die. That was his commitment. You know, he was not going to be abused in a cage full of scholars getting neglected by, you know, the medical establishment, you know, because he, he's not going to get whatever health care he no, needed. He was shit. not going to get it. A, yeah. Yeah. So it would have been total shit. It's not like, the, yeah, it's not like he would have the finest of care. I've seen the care that they offer you in those places. Right. Uh, and it's the bare minimum. Uh, and especially if you're on a shit list, uh, it's even worse than that. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's not like he would have been at the Mayo Clinic or something like that. Um, and it's just a damn shame. Um, but um, I'm, I'm glad to hear the, the show's going to keep going. Uh, and, you know, I, I hope we'll regard it. Or go ahead. Regarding go ahead. that and the updates, you know, if you guys are already following the official T- uh, TKR uh, yeah. channel on, um, I, I don't know what's going to happen regarding the future of the show. Obviously, Asbador was TKR. Sure. Um, you know, once the fam and, and the, the Wrecking Crew get together, we'll have a con- confab. We'll find out what's going on and we'll let you all know. But uh, I, I can't conceive of, you know, the show being anything without As. Um, you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to pretend that I'm such a draw that people would, you know, want TKR to going just to listen to me blather on for like five hours about, you know, whatever inanities pop into my head. But, um, you know, we'll put something together and we'll do a remembrance. And uh, I'm very glad that you mentioned some sort of way of supporting his parents, his mother in particular. Yes. Uh, we need to figure that out because she could definitely use the help. And God, you know, pray for pray for it as his mother. She has to bury her son, the son that she didn't get to see for the last five years, four years that she knew needed him and, and he needed to help her. It's just so fucking heartbreaking. I, he, it's one of the worst things about this story. Well, it's, you know, they say it's the worst thing in life for a reason. Cause it is, um, to have to bury your son, your daughter. Um, and particularly, um, when it's had to be like this for so many years, um, it's even worse. And so, yeah, uh, I did mention that when you guys get something put together, let me know. Uh, I'll definitely promote it. Definitely kick in on my own. Uh, so yeah, just keep me posted on that at kill is my personal, that's no secret. Um, my personal telegram and the Ralph at the Ralph Um, I, I, I would expect Gibson go would probably, uh, allow something. Uh, I know, um, uh, GoFundMe won't, uh, and some of these others won't, but um, gifts and go, I would imagine, or maybe, you know, if it has to be through crypto or, or whatever, um, that's also an option uh, as well. But, yeah, just keep me posted on that. I appreciate that. And thank you for calling in, sir. All right, man. Take care. You take care, too. Hey, Farmer here live on the kill stream. All right, now we have some other callers as well. Kiosk, man, unmute yourself. You're live on the kill stream. All I got to say is uh, it's not fair. 
we've got all these guys like uh, Medicare and PPP still alive and Az is dead. Uh, there is no fairness. Well, I hate to be trite, but the old saying is life ain't fair. Uh, and you see all these uh, Zog sellouts, and they're doing quite well. Uh, and they're raking it in hand over fist. Uh, and they're completely shameless about it. And they turn their back on everything they claim to stand for. Uh, and so you'll hear no arguments from me uh, about that. And I, I won't expect any tributes uh, from Medicare uh, or any of the other sellouts uh, to, to a real hero. So. Yeah, that's all. I, I'm at work, so... I can't uh, stay on long. That's okay. I'm, I'm glad you're able to call in, man. Kiosk man here live on the kill stream. All right, let's take another caller. Uh, let's see. We'll try Reborn at the end because he has some problems at the beginning, but we will try him. Uh, ZD, uh, unmute yourself. You're live on the kill stream. Then I'll take in Igloo. Hey, how's it going, Ralph? Uh, well, uh somber occasion but also trying to you know celebrate the man's life it as is. well so um it is it is um we hadn't spoken in a while not me and you but me and as yeah. since about 2019 we were pretty close uh we made some some music some of the chat probably i saw you mentioned in the chat yeah 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 um and we had some some good times we were on a we did the tkr back then for oh i was on a part of it for a couple of years with hate farmer as well and um yeah, as was just, I don't know, man. This is just so weird. He was uh, such a good guy. And I can't believe that he's gone already. That's just insane to me. 57 is, is young. But he did a lot for what he was trying to accomplish in my eyes. Um, I'm sad that I wasn't able to be a part of it until the present day. But I had personal reasons forced me to kind of drop out. Yeah, and I, I think I saw you mention a little bit of that in chat, and uh, yeah, I know how those type of things go. Um, yep. And uh, that's unfortunate, but, you know, you put your time in, and you were a part of it, so. Yep, and our music will live forever. <laughs> I saw a lot of people mentioning your music. I don't know if I can play <laughs> Play no, you can't play it. Don't don't play it, Ralph. Don't play it. I'll tell you now. Don't, don't play it. Don't play it. It'll be the end of the old kill stream rumble channel if I play those. It but definitely would. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, certain restrictions here. But uh, but uh, yeah, I'm but glad you could if call. If anyone them. wants to go find that stuff, you can do so. I think a lot of it's on BitChute. Some some people re-uploaded it and stuff. If you guys wanted to check it out, it's it's still up. Yep, check it out. A lot of bit shoot uh, is where we found that speech earlier, uh, and a lot of other stuff. Uh, bit shoot, the old standby, uh, still have has a lot of archives. Here's a super Unc chat real quick. Dixie Respector uh, sent five dollars on Rumble. Unable are the love to die for love is immortality. Unable are the love to die for love is immortality. Uh, and I like that. That's a very nice quote. Uh, Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!